Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII! We are continuing our week of Final Fantasy and we're trying to get out of the Barheim Passage! We've been, so far, combating mimicky, chesty spider things, which undoubtedly we will continue to do. What was that? Ah, there we go. That's a mimic! I said they look kind of like chests and... You know, there you go. So don't leech off me. That's rude. Please let this be a non-mimic chest. There we go. Ooh, you were being sneaky there, weren't you? Little mimic. I do wish that even the mimics would give items. It's just a little bit cheeky to have your chest attack you and then be so rude as to not reward you for it. Betting. Okay, that one is kind of green. Or is that one's grey? I'm reckoning that's... Yeah. And I think this is going to be a mimic. Yes, it is! I don't remember noticing a difference with them before. Maybe that's new, or maybe I've just gotten more observant. But yay! It's not to say that I'm not going to kill them. I am an equal opportunities murderer. That is stuff, I think, and so, oh, come on, so is that, yay! Are you stuff? Good. I mean, I'd still, you know, do things with you if you weren't stuff, but... Oh, what's... What actually is that? A Suriander? Oh, is that a toady thing again, I guess? Given that it's using Angel Song. Let's leave those guys over there. Hmm, can't get through there. Oh, there's something feeding. You, you will die. Give me back my electricity. 99%, that's weird. Oh, that was quick to get to another save crystal. I reckon we are about to get into a boss room. Save your current game? Yes, I shall. Thank you very much. In fact, I know that there's a boss in here. It's a big giant spider thing. As you might have imagined from all of the mimics we've had so far. Oh, it's actually making the mimics. That's pretty and colourful. I don't remember it being that colourful. Yeah, I seem to be remember there being an issue with power draining throughout this battle. So I'm, I'm guessing it's going to keep making more of them, though. But luckily, I am immune to electricity. Yay for diamond armlets. Freddy's breath of life. Is that going to bring all the... Is that just going to produce more mimics? Oh no, spawn is going to produce more mimics. That kind of makes sense. But let's have a couple of hits on... The boss. And then a couple on the mimics. That seems like a good strategy. It's kind of crystally prismatic. Is that the word I'm. pearlescent? Is that the word I mean? Maybe. <laughs> but I really like this. I swear it wasn't this colourful first time around. I think we should be good to just wail on the thing now. Oh, special attack, which I'm going to guess I'm going to be immune to. I'm sorry. I know you wanted that to be all impressive and deadly, but you are now dead.
Hey, sunlight. To think Dalmascan air could taste so sweet. Where are we? The Estes sand, by the look of it. Let's back to Rabanasta before we shrivel up. By your leave, Captain. Yes, the hour of my return is already over late. The people may hate me, but that does not free me of my charge. Hey. Just a few screens to go through then. I think there's a teleport crystal somewhere in the other direction, so I might head over there first. I can't remember if any of these people give side quests. Do you have a side quest for me? Gotta find your boss with the key. Yeah, no surprise we do return to this area later on. You don't talk. Guess there's nothing for us here. Let's head up in this area. Ooh, cockatrices. Let's see if we can kill you. Ooh, one shot. Yes, we can. <laughs> there we go. I think this is a village with a teleport crystal. I hope so. The teleport crystal might be on the other bank. If it is, that's a bit of a pain. And then I might leave it for later. These areas are easy enough to run through. I think over here is a... Yes! There we go. And I'm still going to run back rather than teleport. Largely because teleport crystals are currently in kind of short supply. Aww, poor merchant. I'm depend if you've got anything that I want. Sure, I'll take Blizzard off your hands. Have I got anything? I've got loads of things I can sell to you. I might be asking for more money off you than I've actually given you. <laughs> and nothing you the bazaar. That's a shame. Let's head back to Rabanasta. While this clearly isn't the most beautiful game ever made, I do still think that the art design of this is really quite good. Even the few areas we've been to so far. Let me remind you, two of them are desert areas. And the desert areas themselves look pretty distinct. Right, the Giza Plains and the Esther Sands are quite different. I don't remember if the Wester Sand looks all that different. I think that one ends up looking a bit more like the, the Esther Sand, but I could be wrong on that. And we've been in two kind of dungeony bits, the Baran Passage and, oh, that's the Giza Plains. I don't actually want to go to Giza Plains, do I? I mean, it's not the worst thing if I end up there. But actually, let's go back that way because I know where we end up. And just as an example for how different it can feel despite ostensibly being the same biome. Right, you've still got sands, but it's much less mountainous. It's a bit more reeds and trees. There's more vegetation. I don't know what the proper term for the areas are, but the Esther Sand feels more like the Sahara. Actually, does it? I'm... I've only been to the Sahara once, and that was quite some time ago, but 
I think it's inarguable that the two areas look pretty distinct. I mean, this could practically be out of the Lion King. <laughs> Especially with all the hyenas we're killing. And Rabanasta itself has its own unique charm, being a desert city which isn't actually all that stereotypical, stereotypically desert city. It's certainly got some of the same themes going through there. But it's not just another Agrabah, say. I thank you. I'd avoid crowds if I were you. In this town, you're still a traitor, you know. The Resistance will surely find me soon. Fates will we meet again. I would pay my respects to your brother. You're a fugitive now too. Stay low for a while. What about the stone? Do as you like. That stone's ill-favored. We feel regret. We sought that stone and found ourselves only worry. You offering it? It's mine. Then why do you ask? Our regards to your girl. We stay in Rabanaster a while. What do you think? Can I trust Bosch? Are you talking to a rock, Vaughn? I gotta get rid of this thing. But maybe I should show it to Pinello first, so she knows I got something. She'd be at Miguel's place this time of day. Aww. That's a shame I was having to do some grinding this evening. Oh, I'm actually impressed that it had me come in at Giza Plains. I was half expecting, because I think it was expecting you to come back via the Esther Sand. Seeing as that's where you were. I was half expecting that cutscene to take place there. But I don't think it did. Oh. Hello, Moogling attendant. The Moogling is once again open for business, Coupon. We'll happily teleport you to any of several select locations through Rabanaster. And I've saved the best part for last. It's free, Coupon! Just look for one of our signposts and speak with the friendly Moogling Moogle who's sure to be close at hand, Coupon. Yay! Ah, there's the Moogling person. Welcome to the Moogling, Koopa. This is your first time using the Moogling? Nothing to it! The Moogling lets you teleport to several select locations across the Rabanasta. We had to close for the parade earlier, but we're up and running again, Koopa. The service is free of charge. Why not give it a try? There's no time like the present, Koopa. Let's go to the Sansi. I think that's close to Miguelo's place, and I'd quite like to hook up with Balthier and Fran so I can actually do some grinding tonight. And just stock up on all the techniques and magics I can. I'm back! Vaughn, is it really you? I heard you got took off to Nalbina. The Imperials will need more than a dungeon to stop me. You broke out of a dungeon? Whoa! Hey, try and keep it down, would you? Pinello isn't around, is she? Out on a delivery, maybe? Nope, haven't seen her all day. Not like her to up and skip out on work like that. Miguelo's not here either. He went running off somewhere a little while ago. So much for my big welcome. I guess everybody's busy. I got my hands full watching the shop, and old Dallin had something for me to do, but I can't get away. Old Dallin, huh? Tell you what, I'll go see him for you. Really? Well, nothing better to do. Okay, let's continue on our quest to find... I don't even know what our quest currently is, we just... Bumming around Rabanasta. <laughs> Might as well go there. It's about as far back to the Sand Sea as it is to get to Southgate.
There's... Ah, there was another way into... Low Town from up there, but this gets me right close to old Dallin, so it's good enough. Hey, Dallin. Well, well, look who we have here. Heard you were sent off to Nalpina. And I got out of there as fast as I could. But it was all worth it, Dallin. Here, look at this. My, 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 quite a treasure you've got there. Well, you know, I couldn't have done it without your help. So, there is more to this gutter churl than first meets the eye. Van, I've an errand, a simple favor to beg of you. I was going to ask that kites to go, but I should think that you ought to do. No, no, I think you're just the one. There's a fellow by the name of Azalas, and I need you to bring this sword to him. That's, that's a sword of the old order. Speak my name when you arrive. That should be enough to get you in to see him. I've made a note on your map showing you where he can be found. I'm not even Mind giving you, you my map. to deliver the sword to him personally. I will. Hey, Dal, do you think I could get you to do something for me? I need you to find out where Pinello is. I wanted to show her what I got from the palace, but I haven't been able to find her anywhere. Can you let me know if you hear anything? You can just leave that to me. Thanks, Dallin. And so it is done, but will it be enough to remind him of what the Order once meant? How mysterious. Is this a sword I can equip? No, it's just a key item. I'm assuming. Yeah. Order of the Knights of Dalmasca. So where is this Azalas? Ah, up there. That should be easy enough to get to. Are uh, you Azalas? I'm supposed to deliver something to a man. Name of Azalas. This is the place, right? And who told you? And who was it told you that? Wow. Their name is Bullzak. Wow. Old Dallin. He said I have to give this to him personally. Does nothing get past that, Dallin? He has ears in every wall. All right, get inside. But not a word of what you see or hear in there. You got that. What do you make of Andor's proclamation? Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? In that case, the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Uh -huh. Now there is the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar! <sighs> Just the opposite. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. <sighs> Your words may convince a child such as this, but they weigh far too lightly on the scales for my taste. Our paths will remain separate. Do you not think Amalia worth saving? <sighs> I hold men's lives in my hands. I must see foes in every shadow. The night we moved against Vane, he knew. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would Ondor, as I would treat any of better of the Empire. Then what will you do? Hold me here in chains. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Listen to me, Bosh. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. That's 
right. Amalia's in the resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbana. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take me to Balthier. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbana. We couldn't have done it without you. I think that he couldn't have done it without us either. Ooh, yay, full party member. Time to give Bosch some an actual license grid. And I think I'm going to make him a Bushi. He's going to be a Bushi now, and it's going to be combined later on with... What was it going to be? I think it might be Monk. Bushi Monk, I think, was my idea for him. Okay, so I've gotten Bosch a little bit of... License points. Since the current side falls way over there. I've got him equipped with the battle harness. I've given him way more hit points, as you can see. And that's pretty much it. Let's head back up to Rabanaster and see if I can find Balthea. Having a full party again would be lovely. What is... Ah, it's the Gambit Shop. Right. Where am I going? I'm guessing I'm going to the Western Gate. Because I think that's where the Aerodrome is. It should be where Balthea is. In theory. <laughs> A lot of kids lost their parents in the war. Mine... Mine had already died before that. The plague took them both. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It's been five years now. After that, I live with my friend Pinello and her family. Then... Then the war came. I am sorry. You don't have to keep apologizing. Really, it's all right. I know it wasn't your fault. I see that now. You didn't kill my brother. It was the Empire. My brother trusted you. And he was right. Well, that was a quick turnaround. So there should be... Ah, there's the Moogling Attendant. Hello, Moogling Attendant. I would like to go to the West Gate. Should take down that Mark Thexter at some point as well. Remember that from the West of Sand. So I reckon I want to go in here. Am I right? Do we have a Balthier? No, that's not Balthier. <laughs> I'm really not sure where I'm supposed to be going now then. Okay, let's just have a hunt round then, I guess. Is there a Balthier in the house? Oh, is this a cutscene? I think we found Balthier. As I said, a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What I am understanding is it took Pinello because of you. What? What about Pinello? Oh, Vod. They've taken Pinello. And there was a note. A note for this Balthier. Come to the Museum of Mines, it said. 
It's Begamnon. He was in Nalvena. If anything were to happen to that sweet child, why, I have her parents' memory to consider. You're going to go to her aid, and that's that. That's what you Sky Pirates do, isn't it? I don't respond well to orders. You do know that the Imperial fleet is massing at Bujerba. Fine, then I'll go. You at least have an airship, don't you? Just get me there and I'll find Pinello myself. I'll join you. Huh? I have some business there as well. An audience with a Marquis, by chance? Both here. Just take us, and this is yours. The gods are toying with us. Uh, make yourselves ready. We leave soon. Right. Yay! Now to go and find the Millennium Falcon. Begamnon's note can only be referring to the Lusu mines in Bujerba. We'll leave it once. When you're ready, meet me in the Aerodrome. I should imagine it's still by the West Gate. We weren't in Albano all that long. Do be quick. I'd like to save your girl and be rid of this headache as soon as possible. She's not my girl, she's her own girl. Women have agency. So, we now have a full party. Well, at the moment, obviously Pinello is still to join us again, and she was a party member before, which means that she will be again. And I think this is going to be a good point to leave it. I think we're still going to have one more this week episode of Final Fantasy XII playthrough thing so I will see you tomorrow if you've enjoyed this video I would greatly appreciate it if you would give it a like if you want to see more of the same please subscribe to my channel I do lots of other things I do currently doing a let's play of Deus Ex Mankind Divided currently doing a weekly catch-up of the news in the games industry whilst playing Euro Truck Simulator and I also play Hitman and I do impressions of games. Not like doing the voices of the games or anything like that, but I have a look at games and tell you what I think of them. So yeah, please check out that other content. And more than anything, I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Goodbye.